Hey guys, welcome to a quick tutorial. My name is Sil. Um, today I wanted to do just a quick little video here to show off this little um, program that I made. Um, this program, basically what it does is it takes texture coordinates from a light map based uh, OBJ file and adds them to the texture coordinates of a regular, uh, regular texture coordinate file. Um, so that might not make a lot of sense, I might, might not be explaining it well, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys here and maybe you'll understand a little bit better. Um, if you haven't worked with maps before, I, I recommend uh, understanding how they are mapped and work first. Um, but as you can see, I have this uh, scene here with one light, um, and you can see it has some pretty harsh shadows, um, as well as three different objects. Um, and if I go ahead and look at these objects here, you can see that they already have uh, UV uh, mappings for the baked light map, and those are on channel 3. If we go ahead and open the, where is it here, open UV editor, you can see the light map here for that one. So each one of these has its own light map already baked in, which is nice. Um, but right now, the exporter for 3ds Max doesn't have um, built-in support for multiple uh, texture coordinate channels. Um, it'll output the material with a reference to where the file should be for um, the light map. But at the moment, you can't get the texture coordinates. You can only you can choose which texture coordinates you export. You can either choose the texture coordinates for the uh, first channel or for the third channel or whatever channel you're using. Um, first and third are the ones that are important to me but I wanted to be able to have both of them at the same time so that I could have textures and I could also have the self illumination map and as, as you can see the self illumination map is that light map um, that's where it's mapped to um, and that's why it works so well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it works here. Basically what we can do here is we go export and we'll name this and we'll go ahead and put it in this tutorial folder I made here. We'll name it tutorial. Uh, let's just name it model. Alright, and then we're gonna to go to map export and we're gonna make sure it's on channel one. Um, and just all these other settings are uh, default settings that I use. And we're gonna go ahead and export that there. There we are, and then we need to go export again and we're gonna call this model and we're gonna put all caps light. Um, that's just for the program itself. It just has a kind of arbitrary identifier to figure out uh, the two relating uh, objects or two relating uh, files in the same folder. Um, so basically just need to put light for the light map one. And since this is the light map one, we're going to export the light maps texture coordinates. And the only thing that this it's going to use from this light file is really just the texture coordinates. Um, it's going to make sure that it should relate in certain ways to the first file. So it should be the same file you're exporting. Um, but all it'll really care about is the texture coordinates. So we're going to go ahead and export there as well. And then if we go ahead and open up that folder there, you can see that we got both OBJ files and our MTL files. Um, the MTL files, you can see, as I was saying, these are the two different um, uh, texture, textures that are mapped to each material that are used, right? So you can get both of the textures. You just normally, if you go look at the uh, regular model to OBJ, you can see that all we have is, I think it's a vertex index, I want to say it's texture coordinate, and then normal, if I remember right. Um, but we only have one normal for each uh, each vertex and each triangle. Um, and, and if you haven't looked at the OBJ file format, I recommend going look at that first so you can understand what I'm talking about. But basically, the OBJ file format doesn't support multiple texture coordinates, as far as I understand. So what I did is I made a program that would um, kind of combine those two files that I just made. So this is my program here. If we go ahead and, go ahead and open it, it doesn't do anything at the moment because we didn't give it any arguments, so it doesn't know what file we want to do. Um, we're going to go ahead and close that, and what we can do is we can just add um, add the path to this file to the argument zero by dragging and dropping on top of it. So we can just we can do either one, either the one with light in it or the one with not. We'll just do this one, and it'll automatically go ahead and find both of those files, as you can see there. And then it'll ask me for an output file name. If you do DEF, you can just uh, make it overwrite the original file, um, the one that doesn't have light in the name. We'll just do we'll just do a model output for now, so that we can see all three files after the end. And as far as deleting the other one, we're going to say no, so we don't delete the light file afterwards. And it looks like it was unsuccessful here. What did I do wrong here? Oh, it looks like I accidentally um, didn't add an extra L in the light one, so it was mode mode light essentially. So if we go ahead and add that L in, and then go redo this, and we'll do model output we will say no and there you go that that was successful so it's it's kind of specific about uh, what the name should be as long as the names match up perfectly 
and one of them has light. It could be actually anywhere in the in the name. It can be like right in the middle of the name, but as long as it has light all caps and the names otherwise match up uh, perfectly, then it will be fine with it. Um, just kind of a simple, uh, simple program there. But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, look at this file that it created. So as you can see, we have where is it here? Model output. If we go ahead and open this up. You can see it has the same vertex or same vertexes, um, same vertex normals, but it has a lot more uh, texture coordinates. So basically, what it did is, if we go ahead and look at the original model uh, OBJ, go ahead and open it up here. You can see we only got four texture coordinates, right? And that makes sense because it was really simple textures. Um, but in the new file, we have a lot more obviously so after those four we added all the ones that were in the light um, file we can go ahead and look at those ones here you can see we got 24 that we added so there should be 28 in the uh, in the output file here um, and then we also have another texture coordinate added on to the end of each vertex um, one thing to note also, this program is kind of nice because it um, if it finds an object that doesn't have texture coordinates in the light file for um, for the third channel, for example, if one of these objects uh, didn't have the light maps baked, um, basically the texture coordinates would look something like this. And it'll go ahead and just skip over that and not export and mess with it at all in the original file. So you can export stuff where only certain objects have a texture map, or sorry, a, a light map there. I'll go ahead and exit out of that. No, we don't want to save. Um, and so it's a really straightforward program. Um, took me a little bit to make, but it's really simple. Um, but basically what it allows me to do is now that um, now that I have all those texture coordinates in there, I can load in the corresponding textures, get those texture coordinates, make the buffers, all that kind of stuff you need to do to do OpenTK. And then if we go ahead and look at this here, and I'm making a multiplayer game, so that's uh, um, working on making a multiplayer functionality essentially. Um, if we go ahead and look, we can see that we actually have an old uh, texture ba baking here. This had two lights in it. We had a green light on one side and a white light on the other side. Um, just a text test that it works correctly, but um, basically um, we have the, the light maps in here, and these aren't active lights at all. Um, I didn't do any uh, shadow mapping, any cube mapping, anything like that. Um, it's just uh, baked in textures, so I don't actually drop any shadows myself. As you can see on the player 2 screen, you know, like, I don't have any shadows. Um, it's all just uh, baked into that light map there, so it's, it's really useful. Um, I was really quite annoyed that there was no way to do it automatically and I had to make a program for myself, but um, yeah, I thought I would distribute it. If you guys uh, find it useful, you can use it as well. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.